You ready? No. Go on, then. I swear on the sweet smile of my gorgeous nephew, Daniel, to be an excellent builder. <coughs> I'm a trustworthy and respectful employee. Good. Excellent. And to rob, cheat, and deceive the client any chance I can get. Where's the other one? Trevor. That's Joe. The other one's called Trevor. Don't be so suspicious. And don't forget... Yeah, yeah. Charm offensive. All guns blazing. Nearly all the ceilings were damaged by the rain. I'm gonna have to replace two of the joists. What about the roof? Oh, we're getting a specialist in to help do the job. Is he reliable? Oh, aye. He's from Newcastle. His family. And how long will that take? Not more than a week. Once we get going. Then what? Oh, we've got a plumber standby to start in the bathroom and uh, spark. spark to rewire the place. You know, we can work around them doing up the top floor. And then in about four weeks, we move downstairs and start on the uh, kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, we've, uh, we've got a schedule here, which of course you'll stick to. That is, of course, when Junior goes home. Oh, his mum's coming for him any time. He's been no bother, really. Oh. Maybe your daddy should get you to give him a hand. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him on to clear the house. I'm very good at waste disposal. OK. Yeah, I hear you. I'm on to it. Right, that's good. OK, I've got to fly. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, last week's and a little extra for goodwill. Ta? Huh? So it's weekly cash payments from now on. Wages and materials. As agreed. Well, I'm sure it's all going to go really brilliantly. Aye. See you. Bye. Well, that went all right. Won't stay that way. How do you mean? Well, he's not too happy about the little one, is he? And mind, he's got a point. Well, at least I haven't lied to him about a non-existent plumber and a spark. Yes, you have. Anyway, technicality. I've got a roofer. Simon will be here soon. He's a bloody head case and all. Yeah. You didn't fall off the roof, then? Hello, mate. How's things? See, I've been worrying. I thought, if they'd have had to scrape your remains off the ground, it would have spoiled our fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, you got a point there. Catch up with you soon, then, pretty boy. Fine, cheerio. Who was that, then? Nobody you know. Where have you been? He's been here half an hour. Yeah, I've just been catching up on some personal research. Well, he's had the tea and he's had the tour. Clive's going mental. You are majorly in the shit. Hey, watch this, OK? <sighs> ah, here he is. We were just talking about you, Paul. <coughs> Mr. Mandrakis, our senior Far Eastern broker, Paul Atkins. Do you always operate on Singapore time, Mr. Atkins? Mr. Mandrakis, my apologies. I know I'm half an hour late. 34 minutes, to be precise. It could be the most profitable 34 minutes of your year. <laughs> I have all the life insurance I need. Thank you very much. I know your family is anxious to expand its crude carrier fleet. I also know you wish to purchase the three tankers that Sun Li is selling in Taipei. This is common knowledge, Mr. Atkins. But what certainly isn't is the identity of the other bidders and the prices that they're likely to offer. Naturally not. And what would you say if I said that I could write the bidders and their prices on that piece of paper? Well, I should be intrigued. Mr. Mandrakis, we've never acted on behalf of your family before. 
I believe that it would be in both our interests if we did. I should like to buy these ships for you. Give me hard facts on my competitors, Mr. Atkins, say by midday tomorrow, and uh, I'd give it every consideration. Thank you for your hospitality, Clive. Well, I always enjoy a full English breakfast. I'll see you out. I trust you can stand all that up, Paul. Of course I can, Clive. Bullshit, Paul. Complete bullshit, Mike. Ready? I have been for the last ten minutes. Okay. I can't take much more of this. Well, she's taking the piss if you ask me. Which I didn't, and she isn't. Yes, yeah, she is. Looking after the kid is her job. It's not yours. You're the working man. Well, allegedly. Tell her to get off her ass and take the kid off our hand. I keep telling you she's with her mate in Durham. I keep leaving messages. We are in a hole because of her. The only reason we're in a hole, Joe, is because you poked a copper's missus and he ran us out of town. No, it isn't. You don't know where your wife is and you're having to do a job with a kid on your hands. Ray and Janice. Ray and Janice's history. I'm talking about now. Where are you going? Get the burn some nappies, he stinks. We're gonna have to stop meeting like this. Are you the builders from the house next door? Oh, that's right. I'm Emma. I'm the nanny at number 23. From up north, aren't you? Newcastle. All oh, right. I'm from Manchester. That's where all the good-looking women come from. Can you enjoy it, dear, looking after kids? Ah, oh, it's dead easy. Easier than rebuilding a house with a baby in tow, anyway. She's right. Childcare is a complicated business, especially when you're not used to it. Like you, for instance. But you're, you're obviously an expert. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'd like to speak to the chief inspector, please. <laughs> Trevor Gazard, will you? Doesn't sound like the Sergeant Reggie well, Crack Ramos, I remember. Oh, hi. Ah, chief inspector. And how are you? Oh, chief inspector. Yeah, all right. Bye. Karen? Yeah. Great. Did you come for Daniel? Tomorrow. Excellent. So, where's she been? Durham, I suppose. <sighs> you suppose? She couldn't talk long. She's coming tomorrow and she'll take Daniel back. Just leave it, will you? Sure. Sure, I'll call you back. Okay. okay. Bye. If you hear anything, just let me know, okay? Bye. Caracas. Hmm. Anything? Nope. What next? I oh, know. Come on, Paulie. I've got commitments riding on this. <sighs> You've got commitments. You got any idea how much money's going out my bank account each week? My overdraft's bigger than Mexico's national debt. I've got an astronomical bloody mortgage on a house I can't even move into for the next few months. Wages in cash to a couple of dodgy Geordie builders. No slates on the roof. 800 quid a week for the flat. 
Ah, uh, this deal isn't a bonus, Mikey. It's a bloody necessity. You've also got an understanding wife with whom you share everything. Right. <laughs> right. And a father-in-law who'll bail you out with the odd million if she clicks her fingers. Wrong. Wouldn't take a penny of that bastard's money, not even if we were on the street. Right, come on, Mike. Trev? Trevor? Trevor? Shift Daniel calls here. Morning, Paul! Well, that's a nice one and all. Roof for here, yeah? Tomorrow. Meow. Can I help you with anything? I just bought the bathroom catalogues. Oh, I'll come and collect them. It's all right, I'll come in. Look, you couldn't just take Dan for a minute, could you? Why? What's the matter? House owner on the warpath. Yeah, we will order them for you. No bother. Great. How about paying for them? I'll get Laura to drop in the cash. I've got a big job on at work the next few days. Aye, aye. Well, you're the one for the big job, Paul. Morning. OK. Baby gone home. Yeah, that's right. Still here, isn't it? I'd say that's our honeymoon period over, wouldn't you, lads? Hello? Where is she, you bastard? Oh, look, uh, psychopath, I don't need this. Oh, I am going to have you. I'll find her. Well, Ray? Go and play with your walkie-talkie and just leave me alone, you limp dick twat. Joe, I'm sorry. You'll have to take Daniel back. Mrs. Wright's due back any minute. Bye, thanks. No bother. Ah, she's a grand lass. She's been a big help while you've been away on your holidays. I think this is yours. <laughs> Trevor, there's a woman out here who wants to make mad, passionate love to you. What? Karen. He's been absolutely fine. He looks really happy. And Emma's qualified. Been to college and that. Yeah. It's just when I couldn't get hold of you, I had to decide. Trevor, it's fine. Don't worry. Hey, listen, I've been thinking, uh... You two need some quality time together, so, uh... Why don't you stay over, Karen? It's OK. Nah, it's not a problem. I'll book into a hotel for the night. Yeah, I know. He does try.
could get us a Chinese. Or we could have a picnic. What have you got? Cumberland sausage, a scotch egg, two onion barges from last night's takeaway, some Jaffa cakes, tin of spaghetti hoops and half a bottle of Baileys. <laughs> Gourmet night, is it? Absolutely. Um, I was going to wait until I'd saved some more, but, uh, well, seeing as you're here... That's just the start. The job's all right. I mean, the bosses aren't too bad. I'll be home before you know it. I thought maybe we could have a holiday. I'm glad it's working out for you, Trev. And you're feeling much better, aren't you? I think that trip to Durham must have worked. Yeah. Now get us a number for that Chinese. Right. decided to leave, right? Happy. I'm going home to Tanner. Will he take it? <laughs> well, Ray is an owner-occupier. Once he's got possession, he doesn't get evicted without a fight. So I've noticed. But I'll make him. With your help. Me? I need you, Joe. Yeah, but, um... Uh, I'm down here and, and you're up there. Besides which, I don't want my face rearranging. Have we just had the goodbye screw, then? Is that what you're saying? Uh, don't be daft, Janice. You know how much I like you. But what's between you and Ray? Well, it's between you and Ray. Nothing to do with you, is that right? I'm sorry. It's OK. What the hell's happened? Have you seen the state of the van? There's glass everywhere. Well, that is gonna cost a fortune. Well, we didn't see the point clearing it up. What with Daniel and the dark and everything. Have you been here all night? Well, are you gonna tell me what happened to the van or what? What happened to the van? Well, to tell you the truth, we're not absolutely sure, Joe. But the basics? Well, your brother, your nine-month-old nephew and me were asleep in the van when some madman attacked it. With a crowbar, we think. And no, I wouldn't let Trevor go outside and defend your van in case he got his head smashed in. And yeah, thanks for asking, we're absolutely fine. Oh, Daniel's got a cut on his hand from where he tried to crawl to his mam, screaming his head off. She was incidentally shitting herself also, but Joe, don't you give it a moment's thought. Look, Karen, Trevor, I'm sorry. <gasps> Piss off, Joe. I saw him. 
Who? <laughs> Ray. Who do you think? It was like a man possessed. I thought you said it was all over. Trevor! No, Trevor. Don't forget Simon. I've been... I've been ringing you. I changed your number. I've been away. Have you? Where are you, sweetheart? I want to see you. I'm on the way home. Meet me there later, OK? Meet you? Yeah, OK. I'm, I'm leaving now. Yeah? L listen, Jan. You don't mind, dear? No, no. And they need their money for the week. Plus this roof and these materials, you know, slates and stuff. You, um... You know the house account's almost empty. Oh, shit. Sorry, I meant to sort that. It's OK, I'll transfer some more money. No, there's no need for that. Hmm. It'll clean me out, but then maybe we need to fix up some more funds. Listen, thanks. And, um... Presumably you won't make the meeting with the architect. Oh, Lord, I'm really sorry. But I... I... You'll make it up to me mm. when your deal comes through. I wish he could stay for a few days. He'd have to pay his danger money. Anyway, I think Daniel needs to get back to his old routine. Aye. And you'll be up soon. Listen, I wanted it's to say... It's all right. No. I know. Listen. Johnny's here, Johnny's there, Johnny's every bloody way. La, 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 la. Karen? I wasn't expecting the reception committee like, but thanks for the thought. Oh, yes. 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 Bye bye. Karen, okay, is she? Smashing, thanks. My mum sends the best. Says you've got to make sure you look after me. <laughs> well, here we are in old London town. View way, Cockney's clap your hands. <laughs> View way, Cockney's clap your hands. You wait, Cody's. Where are you going? All right, Simon. All right. Oh, uh, Trevor, you're in charge. I'll be back when I get this fixed. We need to talk about this. And if Laura turns up, make sure you get cash from her. Don't wait for me. Joe! I take it the job's going really well then. <laughs> Where do you want me to start, Gov? Raymond. Hello, Pat, how are you? Terrible. Then one was blocked. You look great. Oh, no, I don't. What are you doing to me? Sight for sore eyes, eh? Need a bath. Right, there's your money this week with Simon's, plus cash for all the roofing materials. That's 4,300 and all, okay? Thanks. Uh, then there's the bathroom suite. I'm just on my way to order it. What? Paul wanted us to order the bathroom suite. That would be to pay for. How much is that? Two two fifty. Right. Problem. No, no. Um, could we get the suite on credit just for a week or so till we get some transfers sorted out? I'd really like to, Laura, but we can't. I know it wasn't the agreement, but it's only temporary. Joe's golden rule: always deal in cash, otherwise we carry the debt with the wholesalers. See? Come on. What I'm asking is standard practice. 
thought you were running a business. We are. I can't go running to the cash point two or three times a day every time you need a new pile of bricks or something. That's not what you're suggesting, is it? No. So what are we going to do about it, Trevor? Suppose I'll order the suite on credit, shall I? Would you? Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Laura, you won't mention this to Joe, will you? Not a word. Thanks, Trevor. Told you I'd better bother turn out. What better bother? With blood. The copper's messes, man. Oh, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I always had you down as a, a bit of a windy bastard, Joe. That, that's a guts in my book. Oh, yes, indeed. Just shut up about it now, will you? Thought I'd find you in here. Just on my way, as a matter of fact. You too. Every time Trevor turns up, Joe runs off. Anyone would think he's trying to avoid you, you know. I want to talk to you about last night. Did you get the cash? Uh, yeah, Joe, look. Good. I'm on my way to get the slates. Uh, I'll get the bathroom suit as well. I've done that. Oh, fine. I'll hand it over then. Uh, Joe, it's not all there. I used the roofing money to pay for the suite. Ah, oh, did you? The reason for that would be. Well, Laura didn't have the cash for the suite. She wanted us to get it on credit. But you don't get it on credit, do you? It's Joe's golden rule, isn't it, Trev? So how did you plan to buy the slates for the roof, Trevor? Well, I thought our... Wages? No. Not our wages. Well, not our wages. Yours, maybe, not mine. So give the tight ass Mrs Atkins a ring and tell her not to take advantage of you because you're simple. And give us cash up front as agreed. Uh, Joe. Joe, I think Trevor wanted to talk to you about something. Of course it was you. You were seen. Peeping out from under the duvet, were you? Sir, I wasn't even there. Your brother was, though, with his wife and their kid. They could have been hurt. Well, you can't make an omelette without cracking eggs. This has gone far enough, Ray. No. On the contrary. We've only just kicked off. Just lay off, will ya? You ain't seen nothing yet, Sonny Jim. Ray, man. <laughs> Who are you, the laughing policeman? All right, you two, let's get cracking. Oh, so you do actually work here, then? Just get these slates shifted. Oh, lad. Ray! Who's Ray? You said it was all over. There'd be no more bother. You don't know it was him. I saw him last night, the van, remember? Ah, oh, so it was the copper who smashed up the van. Go and start laying some felt, will you? Hey, excellent. Top mine. Piss off. <laughs> Look. Nobody got hurt. We're gonna get some new slates, and that is the end of it, all right? And who's going to pay for them? We built Paul and Laura. It's not their problem, it's yours. I was acting on Ray was a nutter. None of this would have happened if you hadn't started screwing Janice. If it wasn't me to be in somebody else. Oh, don't give me that, because it was you, wasn't it? You're responsible. Do you know how it's spelled? Trevor, I don't want the mother to raise anything, all right? You don't give a fuck. I'm not going back in that house until the sniffer dogs have been in. It's probably mine and all. All right, Simon. What are you looking at me for? It's like a training ground for the SAS, man. All right, Simon. I get the point. Well? He's probably put sharp and spears behind all the doors, you know. Shut up. Have you got something to say? You were having it off with another man's wife. He, understandably, was upset by that. He decides to seek revenge on the fornicator. 
But my wife and child get scared to death, and Mogi Boy here nearly gets his neck broken. Does that sound fair to you? Fornicate. Does that sound fair to you, Joe? You can't fornicate for free, Joe. There's always a price to pay. So what do you want me to do, Trevor? So I did, smart ass. Talk to Janice, talk to Ray, talk to the bloody police federation if you have to, but so did Joe. Me and him aren't going back in that house till you do. Just apologise. I'm sure he'll be dead reasonable. Just tell him his wife was a lousy shag anyway. <laughs> Shut it, Simon. I'll get the next train up. How much was it? Nineteen and a half grand. What? Nineteen and a half? These bastard architects, they told me it was going to be no more than 12. Oh, at least we got a month to pay it. That's hardly the point. We've no money. I cleaned out my account to pay the boys. I had to terrorise poor Trevor into getting the bathroom suite on credit. <laughs> oh, dear. Their bills aren't going to stop coming in, you know. Yeah, well, once we've successfully bid for these ships, my bonus will cover it. Your bonus won't reach the account for weeks. Paul, we're talking about work on the house falling behind by a month. We'd lose Joe and Trevor. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. Um, Paul, Nicky Mandrakis is here. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll see you in a minute. No, I've, I've got to go, babe. Sorry. We have to do something. I can't talk about it now, Laura. Yeah, you never can. That's why we go into this mess of foot. Laura! Laura. This is a treat. <laughs> Dad, I need to ask you something. Yes? I need to ask you for something. Oh, fascinated. Go on. Will you write me a cheque for £25,000? No. No. Please. You got problems with the house? No, not really. It's just... A lot of bills that need dealing with right away. It's a loan, short term. <laughs> you know, at my age, memory does get a bit hazy, but I do have a very clear, crystal clear recollection of something Paul said to me when you got married. Just after you got married, in fact, when you decided to tell me you were already married. When I offered to buy you a home, I think Paul's words were, I'd rather live in a tent than take a penny off you. There was something about manipulative old bastard in there somewhere, too. I can't quite remember that bit, but... So forgive me. This is just a bit of a shock. Will you write me the cheque? Of course I will. Thank you. Is 25 enough? I can repay you within a month. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, well... It does to me. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks for coming round. I didn't have time to go out of the house today. That's OK. Uh, do you want a beer? Oh, yeah, thanks. <clears throat> uh, your money's on the table, 2006. Thanks for, um... No bother. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. And I'm sorry about being ratty earlier. It's just, uh, Paul's really busy at work at the moment, and, and I seem to spend my whole life ducking out of work to get to the bank and over to the house with the great wadges of cash. It's fine. Forget it. Expensive business doing up a house. It's just Joe, you know. He's got these rules. I suppose you have to in your business. You can get ripped off. Well... Have you had bad experiences in other jobs? Uh, not often. But you've had some nightmare clients. You're too polite to say, aren't you? <laughs> well, a few. Do you specialise in house renovations? Uh, mainly houses. 
you know, big houses. Well, I'm glad you and Joe are doing our house for us. It's reassuring to having someone who knows what they're doing. I mean, I wouldn't know the difference between an RSJ and a BMW. It's just a matter of experience. And I suppose it's good because you're brothers. You know, you know each other, you know what you're good at. Joe's better at some things. Well, I specialise in uh, interiors. Rooms. Joe's good on roofs. Outside, you know. Well, main structural work and that. But we've been doing it a while now, so... Yeah. Nice flat. Mm. Rented. Across a bomb. We wanted to live in the city, and I like the space, but, um... Well, it's only got one bedroom, and... The house will be great. It's a family house. Yeah. That's what we thought. Well... Thanks for the beer. Do you fancy a pizza? Lovely and fresh there. Still alive when I bought them. Ray, I don't want to eat. I wasn't sure whether to get two or three. Three? Yeah, well, I, uh, I didn't know if you were coming on your own, did I? Or whether you were bringing uh, lover boy. Oh, oh, come on, don't be stupid. Joe's got nothing to do with this. He's big, isn't he? I mean, this, uh, this jaw of yours, is he big enough? I came home for a reason, Ray. Hey. I see his glasses. Waterford Crystal, aren't they? To say something to you. Wedding present from me mates at Towngate CID. Listen! Thought you have, I'll say that for hey, you. Hey, Ray, why don't we just leave it? Well, I've been looking forward to this. I'm not gonna fight you, Ray. Come on, lad. Is that what you want? Is that gonna make you feel better? Go on, then. Hit me. Go on, Ray, hit me. You think it's a solution? Do it then. Come on, do it. Shut it! You think Ray, it's gonna sort your marriage? Hit me, Ray. Get it done. Hit me. Me, Ray. Nobody else. Me. You nearly killed my cousin on that scaffolding. Shut she hadn't slept up. with your wife. My brother. My brother's wife and my brother's baby was in that camp that you smashed up. A baby, Ray. Ray! Is that how you sort your problems out? Is that how you get to feel better? Well, come on then, Ray. Hit me. Janice will love you then, won't she? Stay there. Just stay there. job of this kitchen. You're a, a good carpenter. Yeah. A craftsman. See, I could tell watching you. I thought, this man, he cares about his work. 
He values his work. He's good with his hands. I see, I, I appreciate that. Somebody who cares about their work. Oh, is that right? You do care about your work? Yes, I do. You care about making things? Yes. Good. Right. Now, don't go, OK? I should be pissed. I'm not. Yeah, it's for you, though. See, it um, <clears throat> gets the adrenaline flowing. And when you're full of adrenaline, you can drink as much as you like and you stay sober. You can't get pissed. See, I know, I know about that. Yeah, I was scared. I'm not now. I am. I mean, I'm, um, I'm fine out there, you know, I'm, uh, never get scared out there. And then I come home, and I am shitting myself. I'm scared of her. I mean, she can't wear eight and a half stone wet through, and she frightens me to death. See, Janice... Janice is a very passionate woman. You know, she needs a lot. See, I've been a copper for 18 years, and one of the first things that you learn is that in this job, passion hurts, you can't afford it. You have to learn to cut your feelings off. And that's, that's all very well. If you can learn to switch them on again, and for a while you can. But after 18 years, I can't. <laughs> I did a lot of DIY, though. She, she probably did, too, until you arrived to help out. I am sorry, Ray. And when you, it would have been somebody else. It, it's not your fault. It's not hers either. Oh, she looks lovely when she's asleep. Don't you think? after yourself. What am I going to do? A deal fell through. It happens. It's not the end of the world. You can't keep it all going without the bonus, Mike. Go see your bank manager. <laughs> Crawl in on your hands and knees. What am I going to tell Laura? <laughs> Great help, you yeah. See you later. See you.
Have you heard from Joe this morning? Yet? No. Well, you could always try the general of the IVI. Fracture clinic or intensive care, what do you think? Listen, kidder. Me brother did something you and I wouldn't. What? Pork a policeman's tart, you mean? Just get up, will you? What's this? Sorry? 25 grand transferred into our account. It's just a loan. A loan? Who from? My father. Can't believe I'm hearing this. Look, it's no big deal. It is a big deal, Laura. It is to me. I'm tired of this. We agreed. Didn't we agree just this one thing? No money from your father, ever? Listen, we had a problem. Short term, but serious. I solved it. You didn't solve it. Daddy solved it for you. You thought, Paul can't solve this. My husband can't solve this, so I'll run to Daddy. As soon as your bonus comes through, you can pay him back with interest if it'll make you feel better, OK? Still got the regulation number of arms and legs. All right. You all right? Yeah. It's all sorted. For good. Man, that's a shame. I was just getting used to the adrenaline buzz of this job. <laughs> Looks like it. Come on. We've got work to do. Oh, no, we haven't. Laura's been on the phone. Her and Paul are on the way over. Said they want a serious talk. Oh, bloody hell. What you done now? No, man. You must have. God, I've missed you. <laughs> well, come on, let's have it. We're going to have to revise our plans for the house for financial reasons. We need to discuss them with you. <sighs> Thank God. I thought you were going to sack us again. <laughs> No, no. It's not a question of that. So what do you want to do? We'll have to scale down what we were planning. Fair enough. Anything else? Well, we need to cut down on our outgoings. The uh, lease on our flat is up at the end of the month, and um, we're not going to renew it, so... You want to come and live here? We thought on the first floor once the bathroom's finished. Right. 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 You're going to move in with me? Excellent. No, you're going to move in with us. Is that a problem? No, no. Of course not. Fantastic. Oh, I can't wait, mate. Hi. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You'll be able to see every little change as we do it. Exactly. Every move you make. Right, Joe? <laughs>